हेलो एवरीवन आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल अगला सेम स्कूल्स टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी कवरिंग चैप्टर 16 ऑफ क्लास 10 साइंस दैट इज मैनेजमेंट ऑफ नेचुरल रिसोर्सेज सो लेट्स डिस्कस क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स हियर क्वेश्चन नंबर 1 सेज व्हाट चेंजेस वुड यू सजेस्ट इन योर होम इन ऑर्डर टू बी एनवायरमेंट फ्रेंडली आंसर इज we would suggest following changes in our home to make it environment friendly first separate waste into recyclable and non recyclable second use electricity judiciously third follow 3 r's that is reduce recycle and reuse fourth one is eat as much as you require but do not waste food fifth use water judiciously sixth reuse newspapers and use less plastic seventh have more windows in the house for natural light and eighth is tv fans lights etc should be turned off while going outside the room less use of heaters try wearing sweaters instead further question number 2 says can you suggest some changes in your school which would make it environment friendly answer is following changes can be made in school to make it environment friendly first plant enough trees in the school second leaking taps should be repaired so that water is not wasted third bring food in reusable box not in plastic bags or in aluminum foil fourth teachers can educate students about environmental conservation fifth there should be more windows in schools for natural light now question number 3 says we saw in this chapter that there are four main stakeholders when it comes to forest and wildlife which among these should have the authority to decide the management of forest produce why do you think so answer is the people living in and around the forest and the forest department of the government could be given the authority to manage the forest because the forest department of the government has sufficient power and resources that can manage the forest resources well the people living in and around the forest know about the forest products and use them only according to their needs in addition to this they would not damage the forest and use forest sustainably now question number 4 says how can you as a human contribute or make difference to a management of first forest and wildlife second water resources and the third one is petroleum so first let's talk about forest and wildlife first is trees should not be cut if trees needed to be cut the new trees should be planted in their place second trees should be saved from fire third forest animals should be protected and their illegal hunting should be prohibited for the second is water resources first tap should be closed when water is not in use while brushing shaving and washing hands second protect water resources from getting polluted third is If there is any leak in a water distribution system then repair it or inform the concerned agency and the third is petroleum first public transport should be used instead of private vehicles to save the petrol second do not use electricity in vain third switch off the vehicle at the red light if you have to wait for too long fourth wear an extra sweater instead of using heater fifth use lpg and cng now question number 5 says what can you as an individual do to reduce your consumption of various natural resources first point is we have to follow the principle of 3 r's that is reduce recycle and reuse second plastic bags should be reused for the storage of food and small things third food should be taken as per requirement fourth reusable bottles should be used to store water every day fifth 
The device based on renewable sources of energy like solar cells, solar heaters, etc. should be used. Further, question number 6 says, List 5 things you have done over the last one week to First is, conserve our natural resource. Answer is, to conserve our natural resource, I have saved electricity by switching off the lights, fans, televisions and other electrical appliances when not needed. Used energy efficient electrical appliance. This is done by using compact fluorescent lamps that is CFL and fluorescent tube lights instead of traditional filament type electric bulb. And third is used public transport for school instead of a parent's car. Fourth, took a bath with less water than before and did not waste water. For the second is increase the pressure on our natural resources. So here, first, used more paper than required for printing on the computer. Second, kept the fan on even when I was not in the room. Third, wasted food. Fourth, burnt crackers. Fifth, wasted petrol by unnecessarily starting the motorbike. Further, question number seven says, on the basis of the issues raised in this chapter, what changes could you incorporate in your lifestyle in a movie towards sustainable use of our resources? Answer is, we would bring following changes in our lifestyle so that sustainable use of our natural resources can be encouraged. First point is, we should limit our personal and collective needs beyond laws, rules and regulations so that the benefit of development can be made available to all and future generation. Second, close the tap when not in use. Third, turn off the lights, fans, etc. in home, school or office when not in use. Fourth is, make least use of polythene bags and these should not be thrown in garbage. So guys, here I have covered all the questions of this chapter in this video. I hope you like this video and if you have any query or any doubt related to any of the question discussed, please put your query in the comment section below. For more such NCRT solutions, keep watching and do not forget to subscribe our channel Aglacen Schools and do not forget to wear a mask and take good care of your health.